Hey, what's up everybody? So uh, I'm here uh, back in the boatyard working on our masts. And uh, as you can see, I'm uh, making some progress on getting the hardware back on. Uh, cleaned up the bottom of the steps here. And I'm getting the spinnaker pole track on. And I've got the uh, main uh, sheet uh, base on. And gooseneck for the mizzen. Gooseneck for the main on the other side there these uh, spreader bases all kinds of good stuff so uh the, they're just about ready to go back on well almost they got a little bit more to do just want to show you my strategy for putting fasteners in um here i've got a uh a uh bolt on the right you can see i've got loctite on the very ends of the thread and then up near the head i've got uh tef gel which uh the two products are sitting right here ready to go for each bolt that i put in and uh, that's gonna be going right in here on the uh, spinnaker pole track. And the idea behind this is you're able to lock the threads into place and uh, make a water barrier between the threads, stainless threads and then the threaded aluminum. But then you also have the, uh, the uh, TEF gel that's gonna allow for uh, a little bit of protection against electrolysis between the aluminum and the uh, stainless where the thread isn't actually contacting, but the shaft is just going right into the hole. Anyway, um, if you guys have any uh, advice on how to do this better, uh, please let me know. I'd, I'd love to know what you guys think and use to uh, try and control corrosion with dissimilar metals. Uh, but uh, this is what I've been going with right now, so let me know what you think. All right, getting there, guys. Catch you later.